I did not. I was, uh... I was waiting a few days. Because, like, the other events... All of them aren't available from the get-go, so I was... I was waiting a few days. Is it worth it?
What was that just now? Piper! <laughs> Piper! Let's get you up and find me. We can't let our guard down. Don't get burned. Yeah! Maybe give him a try once I hit an intermission. Piper, take a break. Quick, let's go. Thank you. Looks like luck isn't. Huh? Huh? Here they come again. It's still not over. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Be careful. Thanks, darling. Bernice, it's about time we wrap this up. Alrighty. This is my latest formula. Bottoms up. Change the volume of the game voices stand up quite a bit. Yeah, they did. I have the volume set to max. The music is turned down to 8, and then I have sound effects down to 1. I might turn sound effects back up just a little bit. Cutie Bang Boo? Oh, you don't have to thank me. Just thank Bernice. Are you really fine? Getting attacked by ethereals at your age is no laughing matter. <laughs> she looks really tough, and much more spirited than you, Piper. Oh, <laughs> such a sweet young lady. Keep it coming. I love hearing these things. I hope I'll be as spirited as you are when I turn 90. <laughs> I'm not 90 years old. Bernice, is that your name? Thank you for rescuing me. I want to do something for you in return. Where do you work? I'll write you a thank you letter. Uh, getting a thank you letter for doing a good deed is so not rock and roll for a biker gang from the Outer Ring. Oh, is that so? Then do you want money? I have a lot of it. Uh, no, money can't convey my gratitude. Uh, wait, uh, don't be so quick to decide. <laughs> uh, Bernice, hey, Bernice, say something. Uh, you're right. 
There's no need to give us money. Money was the furthest thing from our minds when we saved you. Uh, please, just take care of yourself and live a healthy life until you're 90. Oh, I want to live longer than that. But you really are a nice young lady. All right, then please take this. It'll bring you good luck. Is that a lottery ticket? I grabbed one while passing by the store. The friendly clerk there chose the numbers for me. My palms started getting hot when I purchased it. So I think it's a lucky ticket. I've lived more than enough years to know that this is a sign of Lady Luck smiling at me. I'm sure it's worth at least two million. Whoa! Two million? I'm gonna fill a swimming pool with nitro fuel and make Piper teach me how to swim! Uh, but I don't know how to swim either. Is it already getting to your head? Proxy, are we thinking the same thing? Uh, about how the lottery ticket got to Bernice's head? Of course. Bernice's endearing quality is her unwavering optimism. Ah, that's what I love about her. So I don't want to see her feeling down. Reality always brings you down, doesn't it? Though it's a pain, I'll take it upon myself to remind her of the reality. Hey, you're back! Guess what I'm thinking about? Three, two, one. That's right! I'm thinking about how we should split that huge prize of two and a half million between the three of us. We only left for 10 minutes and the prize money has already grown by an imaginary 500,000? Oh, I wish my stocks could do that. Oh, I thought you'd be happy, Piper. Didn't you always like discussing the lottery with other truck drivers? It's not the actual tickets we love. It's the prize money. Ah, Bernice, listen to me. Lottery tickets are a mix of statistics and pure dumb luck. But in the end, it's 95% statistics and 5% the dark side of society. Got it? <laughs> I don't get it at all! I hope you never do. It's too complicated for me to explain in detail, but a bet casually placed with numbers picked by the store, you might have a slim chance of winning a small prize. A big prize? <laughs> no way. But the results haven't been announced yet. It's too early to say there's no way. Uh, don't give me one of those sports comic book lines like the opponents at their match point, but we haven't lost yet. Anyone who's made a bet knows miraculous victories only happen in comics. <sighs> Let me take a look at the ticket. The time on the ticket's still there, so it should be for tonight's draw. Oh, on TV? Cool! I can't wait! Hey, Proxy. I need to talk to you. It's practically impossible for this ticket to win, but I don't want Bernice to be alone when she gets disappointed. So... Bernice, let's head over to the video store on 6th Street to watch the draw, okay? We can watch it together.
when you said that you planned to split the prize with us? Of course! She gave it as a thanks to all three of us. So obviously, the prize should be split evenly among us. Bernice... Huh? What is it? <sighs> it's nothing. You're such a good kid, Bernice. I... I'm included too? I really didn't do much apart from being a cute bangboo. But if you insist, then I'll accept the one million. What's with the sudden praise? I just did what anyone would do. I had a you feeling would you do were the same say in that. my shoes, right? I don't know about the proxy, but my heart is likely as grimy as a truck's exhaust pipe, whereas Bernice's heart shines like a truck's headlights. And the sexiest part of a truck isn't the headlights, it's the engine. Oh, when will my heart be able to rumble like an engine? It's so nice to be young. Anyway, according to the show, it looks like the prize money won't be given out for a while. Then, shall we get going, Piper? Thanks for everything, Proxy. We'll contact you when the prize money arrives. Oh, don't worry. This lottery ticket is too important to lose. I'll make sure to keep it safe. <laughs> She's hey, gonna lose it, isn't I'd she? I'd like to say something like that. I should hold on to the ticket just to be safe. I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen. But I gotta put that on the back burner for now. I gotta go check out this event. That Wonka says makes him all sicky. That's funny. Nicole was the character that gave us the the last event mission. Nothing good happens to lottery winners. Hey man, you never know until you win. Nicole is doing anything to get out of being owing money. <laughs> Hey, you want to 
<clears throat> for anyone watching, if y'all want to try a, sh a strange but good mixture of food, crush up some lime hot Cheetos and mix it with uh, with beef ramen. I know it sounds weird, but it actually tastes pretty good. I got the gist of this. I think I'll do it on my own time. We'll just get back to Bernice's story.
Myers as a proxy? This is the first time I've ever seen somebody try to find someone with echolocation. There, she can't have gotten that far. She'll be able to hear. <sighs> Tire marks from a truck. She must have been stuck here. Hey, that you, Bernice? Come over here. Oh, I knew it! How dare you lay a finger on Piper? I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Those greenhorns couldn't hurt a flea. If they didn't threaten to scratch steel test, I wouldn't have given them the time of day. Actually, I've seen them somewhere before. They're just folks trying to make ends meet in the outer ring. <sighs> from the sons of Caledon. They're too much for us to handle. <coughs> but a real man fights against the impossible. That lottery ticket will not only cover my ex-wife's child support, but also help protect our lands. Impressive! Using someone else's lottery ticket to pay for your own child support. And you're still worried about protecting your lands? What a hero. I'm sure your child would be proud. <laughs> uh, trust me, Bernice doesn't mean any harm. That's just the way she talks. I know I may not be a good father, but I grew up in the Outer Rig, and I love these lands to the depths of my soul. I loved my wife too, but these lands remain my greatest love. I'll protect it with my life. Even if some crazy fuel maniac with a billion in prize money plans to buy the entire area as her own fuel testing site, I'll fight to the bitter end. Uh, who's this fuel maniac who sounds even greater than me? Could you introduce me to them? I think he's talking about the rumored version of you. Huh? Me? Uh, I would never do that! Uh, but now that you mention it, who do I buy the Outer Rings lands from? Well, also, the prize isn't even a billion. It's just three million. Just three million? Uh, if I had that kind of money, my child support would... Boss, now's not the time to be talking about child support. It seems you've fallen for the most extreme version of the rumor, but she doesn't actually have any such plans. Oh, but now that I think about it, setting fire to the outer ring sounds pretty cool. Take it easy, Bernice. We're just about to clear up the misunderstanding. <laughs> I guess we came here for nothing. We came here with empty stomachs, hoping to make a killing with that lottery ticket. 
But it seems we'll be going home still hungry. It's all right, boss. It doesn't matter if we didn't get the money. The other's low blood sugar has improved tremendously. It won't be like last time when Dickie fainted in that ethereal nest. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, just wait a minute. You're the ones who came charging at us. But now you're trying to put on a sad, starving act? Now we're the bad guys? Hey, Bernice, say something. Okay, I've decided. Dare I ask what you've decided? To provide self-service snacks during the first Bernie's Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival, of course. A heart needs more than nitro fuel to keep pumping. Did I miss something? The first what? The first Bernie's Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival. Uh, what's that? I haven't mentioned it to you? Oh, I don't think I have. Well, it's all right. I can just tell you now. I plan to use my one million to buy different flavors of premium nitro fuel and drink with everyone in the outer ring for seven days and nights straight. What do you think? I'm sure everyone will love it. Uh, are you serious? Free nitro fuel and snacks? And we're all invited? Boss, you're not dreaming. It's a promise straight from Bernice of the Sons of Caledon. Yep. That's right. You can even bring along your ex-wife and daughter. Oh, uh, wait. How old is your daughter? It was her fourth birthday yesterday. Then I'll book her a ticket for the 20th Bernie's Cup. If only I knew you were planning to do such a good deed with your winnings. Uh, what have I done? I actually tried to rob a charitable angel like you! I tried to rob a saint! If we weren't so tired from hunger, We'd be tossing you into the air and cheering right now! Wow! I want to get tossed up in the air! The next time you see me, you have to toss me. It's a promise. Of course, of course we will! We'll get going then! Bye! Proxy said the nearest hollow exit is over there. Did you hear that? They want to throw me up in the air and cheer! Oh, everyone here is so nice. I don't know what to say. Proxy? What a touching scene. But, Bernice, were you serious earlier? Are you really going to spend all of it on treating everyone to nitro fuel and leave nothing for yourself? Absolutely! I've been wanting to do it since before I had a million. Oh, everyone's gonna be so happy! Tell me you want my idea. Uh, you can host a nitro fuel party, but it can't be called the Bernice Cup. You've got to come up with your own name. Oh, don't worry. We would never consider doing something like that. Compared to you, the Proxy and I are normal people. As ordinary as they come. We have lots of things we want to do and spend our money on. That's why we'll spend our money on improving our own lives. Right, Proxy?
Hey, Proxy. How have you been? A lot of things have happened. Just don't ask. What happened? Ugh, the atmosphere is so heavy, it's like a fly got stuck to a mousetrap. What happened to the smile you had when leaving with the one million that day? An adult smile vanishes with their money. It's gone? One million is still a huge sum after tax. But it's gone already? Huh, I know you've been modifying Steel Tusk. Did you make it run on Denny's or something? Not quite, but close. You know I've been trying to improve Steel Tusk's performance. So, once I had the money, I immediately started searching for the best parts on the market. That's when someone contacted me, saying there was a top-of-the-line truck engine that came from a source with an interesting backstory. Oh, it was such a beauty. I bought it as soon as I saw it. Didn't even haggle. Bernice, you were there at the test drive after we installed it on Steel Tusk, right? Oh, I remember. Steel Tusk won't lose to any vehicle in a contest of speed now. Uh, too bad it ran out of gas after just three kilometers, or I would have driven it for the entire day. <sighs> That's the problem. I used premium fuel, but the engine's design sacrifices efficiency for power. With the heavy truck and cargo, even a full tank only lasts three kilometers. Yeah, Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency does seem to have a problem. Three kilometers? Ugh, that's like a school bus. Obviously, I had to do something about it. I even considered reinstalling the old engine, but... I knew I couldn't go back after I put my hands on its steering wheel and got a taste of its speed. So, I needed another solution. Call me desperate, but I bought every exotic energy-saving part I could find on the market, consulted an expert who charged 10,000 denies per hour, and even tried to modify the engine myself. Well, long story short, I spent all that money for nothing. That's so touching. You're like a husband who won't give up on his terminally ill wife. Uh, don't say my wife. N no, I mean, don't say my truck is terminally ill. <sighs> Piper, it really hasn't been easy for you. Before coming here, I thought I had it worse than everyone else. You too, Proxy? I know you citizens of New Eridu pay several times more tax than us. But even then, how expensive could it be to modify your little car? I didn't modify my car. The expenses just piled up. After paying taxes and settling the overdue electricity bill, I lent the rest to a friend to invest. I think people in our situation should just stay away from investments, let alone lending money to a friend to invest. Uh, on the bright side, the prize money hasn't disappeared. It's just turned into an IOU. Stay positive and hopeful like Bernice, and maybe one day you'll see the money again? Aw, oh, thanks for the compliment. I, I wasn't... Uh, fine, I was complimenting you. It looks like you used your prize money in the best way possible. The proxy and I both thought this money could change our lives, but the happiness didn't last, and life feels even more difficult now. Indeed, the taxes are the to devil. Worry day and night about the return on investment, while I constantly worry about how long Steel Tusk can keep running. How did this happen? Bernice, what was on your mind when you spent that money? What was on my mind? Huh. I don't think there was anything on my mind, really. How come you always notice things in life that need changing? Oh, is it because you're smart and observant? I and wish I could be an airhead I like want. her. I have fuel, nitro fuel, and the best friends in the world. When something new comes up, I'll take it in stride. Like how you were new to me, Proxy. But now we're friends. And I know that you like me for me, so I don't need to change anything about myself. Not that I would. Not for you, anyone, or anything. That's why I'm dragging you two along with me to complete commissions, even though I know you're both in a bad mood. Maybe you'll cheer up after getting some action. 
You... kind of have a point. Let's do some commissions. I'll lead the way. I will be right back. Quick question. Should I do some summons? Yeah, while well, I wait for y'all to answer, I'll be back. You never want me to do anything, Wonka.
You do not support hate, alcohol, and especially gambling. Says the guy who has Bernice. Oh, so I'm back. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do at least two. Look at that, man. The game is sucking your PP because you didn't get Ellen. I'll take a Lucy. I never had that W drive. I shall follow your interesting. Let's, is it worked on? Good day, proxy. <laughs> uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hearted youngsters, and this cutie bang boo, of course. Cutie bang boo again? Wait, is it just me, or does it seem like this old man is about to pull out a lottery ticket to show his gratitude? You, how did you know? I haven't taken out the lucky lottery ticket I use as my lucky charm yet. I knew it! Is this one of those pranks that you kids are into these days? Or was I right all along about the impending doom of the world and the new Eridu government monitoring everyone? Wow! It's a wonderful thing! Calm down first. 
At the very least, I can guarantee that I, Bernice, am not a government agent. Uh, I can't vouch for the two next to me, though. Hey, you've known us for ages. Vouch for us. Oh, fine. Since you look like my mm, first love when she was young, I'll take your word for it. Uh, here, take this lottery ticket. It'll bring you good luck. Thanks! Is this a miracle lottery ticket that can win three million? A miracle? Miracles are worth so much more than just three million. Since I started carrying this lottery ticket, I've never had a bad day. Such an incredible streak of luck is worth more than 30 million. Amazing! Is 30 million enough to transform a volcano into a nitro fuel fountain? 30 mil? I don't need that much. Ten million is more than enough to solve all of Steel Tusk's problems. Oh no, you're getting carried away too, Piper. Calm down. But I really can sense a lucky energy from this lottery ticket. It feels warm and sticky. That's not lucky energy. Come to your senses, Bernice. Proxy, stop overthinking things. This 30 million could ease all the hardships of an adult's weary life. Now's the time to celebrate. If I were in the car, I'd be honking like mad. We're doomed. Piper's pupils have become Denny signs. I've only ever seen that happen to Nicole. I'm going to be the goddess of a volcanic lake filled with nitro fuel. Did you drop this bottle of vintage drink? Or that glass of dearest special? Mm -hmm. Steel Tusk, wait for me. I'll never give up on you. I'll make you the best drunk in the history of the Outer Ring. Uh, don't just stand there, Proxy. The live broadcast of the lottery is over. But we can still check the winning numbers in a newspaper. Bernice and I will look for a newspaper. We'll wait for you to come and witness this miracle moment. Something bad is gonna happen. Do you have any good news for us? I have both good news and bad news. I strongly suggest that you hear the bad news first. No, I want to hear the good news first. I think it's about time something good happened in my life. I want to hear the good news too. I'm the type who always hears the good news first. Well... The good news is, we won the 30 million jackpot! I knew it! I knew it! This is cruel, but you still need to hear the bad news. This ticket was issued more than a year ago. 
I check the conditions, and the redemption period is one year. The redemption period ended one month ago, which means the prize money has been returned to the pool. No way! So you're saying we have no claim to the 30 million anymore? <laughs> if you think about it from another perspective, maybe the 3 million we won before is part of this 30 million! <sighs> Huh? Uh, what do you think, Piper? Does thinking about it like that make you feel better? <laughs> That's more like it! There's nothing I love more than Piper's joyful smile and infectious laughter! Piper? You okay? I totally understand your disappointment. You don't need to force yourself. I knew it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. I once thought I understood everything, but now I know that I don't understand anything at all. <sighs> Sorry, Steel Tusk. I'll reinstall your old engine and return to my old life. <sighs> What's wrong with that? After all... The characters all return to their old lives at the end of adventure stories. I don't understand. But I'm sure about one thing. You mustn't reinstall the old engine. What will I do with the new fuel formula I spent all night researching if you do that? Oh, what's that? You have a new fuel formula? Oh, didn't I tell you? While thinking about Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency issue after our last test drive, it hit me. Why not tackle a fuel problem with a fuel-related solution, instead of making hardware modifications? I already tested the effects of my new formula with Steel Tusk this morning! What? How did it go? Meh, I guess it was okay. It consumed about 10% more fuel than the old engine. I added a little more of the good stuff to the formula. Mm, but the cost increases a bit, too. But I'm sure you'll be okay with it if it means Steel Tusk can perform at its best. Oh, you're right. This solves Steel Tusk's fuel consumption problem. I know, I know. What you want to do most right now is to test it out, right? I should have enough of the test fuel to fill up the tank. I'll fill it up now. It won't be long. She's so amazing. The charm of a return to everyday life ending. Perhaps it's because the everyday includes friends like Bernice and you, Proxy. Compared to suddenly getting rich and feeling lonely after a major life change, maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> no, I still really want to get rich. What should I do? I get it. I want to get rich too. Right? I knew you'd understand, but maybe Lady Luck prefers innocent people like Bernice more than realists like us. <laughs> the tank is filled to the brim. Full speed ahead, Steel Tusk! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> well, I'm off now. You take care, Proxy. Don't worry. I'll be sure to call you the next time Bernice enters a hollow to save some old people. I need a woman like Bernice in my life. Bat shit crazy and optimistic.
Nyata, nyata. Nyata, nyata. Nyata, nyata. I shall follow your orders. Stand still. Hmm. Can you see me? Troublesome. Out of the way. In position. Hmm. Can you see me? Don't mess up my nails. Hey, cat, how's it going? Time to hunt. Clear out. Evade now. Amateurs. You should thank me. You cannot stop me. Take this. Hmm. Can you see me? A deep clean. I'm happy to be of service. <laughs> How annoying. Get flushed! Hey, man, if you're sleepy, why don't you go to bed? Gotcha. The second half. Good rated. <laughs> Time to hunt. Hmm. Can you see me? Don't look straight at the moon. I'm happy to be a sir. Get lost. To support. <sighs> Watch me. <sighs> I'll smash you. Uh, Hi. Are you feeling it? Rena, I'll help. Take this. 
Amateurs. 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 Hmm. Can you see me? I'm scissors, your paper. Can you resist? Okay. Stand still. Okay, boss. Feel like you're sleepy, but you're not. I understand that feeling. Do you like that? Get back! Troublesome. Out of the way. It's very complex emotions, Wonka. Something an AI like you will never understand. Amateurs. Satisfactory. Amateurs. You should thank me. Be careful. Sweep it off me. Yep. Stay calm now. Say goodbye to our guests. I'm happy to be of service. Shark Nami! Gotcha. Good riddance. I knew this wouldn't be good. Avoid it. Stand still. Say goodbye to our guests. Troublesome. Clear out. Go play. A deep clean. I'm happy to be of service.
Yeah, the puzzle event, surprisingly, wasn't all that difficult. to our guests. I knew this wouldn't be easy.
I'll be right back. Howdy. So, I was thinking of waking up early tomorrow for... to make up for a lot of lost time. So it's gonna be a long stream tomorrow. I'm gonna sit down and focus on, um... on metaphor. I'm thinking maybe that night? I'll do some sparking zero. I don't know. We'll see. I was thinking of pulling a serene and uh, getting schlitzed while playing fighting games. But then again, he's good at fighting games. I, on the other hand, am not. Y'all saw me play Sparking Zero and other fighting games. I get my shit kicked in. Oh, yay. Stuff for fire characters, which I do not have. Amateurs. Go play. Watch out. Don't mess up my nails. Get back. Get 
Time to hunt. Go now, child. Travel soon. Sith, how's it going, man? I probably didn't hear your alert because my fucking music is blasting. It'd just be how I feel, man. Just blast the music and do something. Just tired from today. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I read tired as fired by accident. Just a good day. Just a lot. Good a lot. Hey man, I don't need to be sorry. That's just I how it do will be. Ready and wait. Come on. Need something? My services are need something? My services are expensive. I bet they are, Nicole. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Yeah, the shining golden I'm not gonna get excited because I feel like it's it's only a fifty fifty. Quit fucking teasing me! Hey you! Quit staring at me like I'm a kid!
Thanks, game. Really appreciate that. It's okay, this happened to me on the Jane banner, too. That's how I got Rena. Actually, no, it wasn't Jane, it was, um... It was Zhu Yuan. I shall mm. await. Oh, hm. Come on. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Goodbye to our guests. Shattered. Get lost. Out of the way. Six. Take this. Go play. Don't mess up my nails. Get lost. Go now, child. Good riddance. Wouldn't be easy. Get back. Amateurs. Shoot, shoot. Take this. Go play. I'm scissors, your paper. Can you resist? Amateurs. Stand still. Say goodbye to our guests.
If you couldn't tell how laser focused I was. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed. Your weak spot. <laughs> Troublesome. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> oh, switch out. Hmm. Can you see me? Don't mess up my nails. Take this. Yep. Get lost. You oh. cannot stop me. Hmm. Can you see me? I'm scissors, you're paper. Take this. Yeah, I still got 18 days to grind out. Let's just hope I get lucky like you. Goodbye to our guests. Get back. Get lost. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah. Say no more. Time to hunt. <laughs> Good ready. Leave it to me, yeah. Sir Lightning. I'll help you. Clear out. Go play. Don't mess up my nails. Was indeed very close.
Hmm. Can you see me? Good riddance. Can you see me? Go play. Don't mess up my nails. Get lost. Get back. So take this. Hmm. Can you see me? I'm scissors, you're paper. Shark Nami. Take this. As you cannot stop me. But I know. In position. Hmm. Can you see me? Don't mess up my nails. Hmm. Can you see me? I'm scissors, you're paper. Can you resist? All right. <laughs> How annoying. Get flushed! Stand still. Say goodbye to our guests. Get back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Good riddance. Out of the way. Hello? Leave it to me. Ellen, switch out. Go play. Don't mess up my nails. Can you resist? Gotcha. Did they change the music for this area? I don't remember it being this song at nighttime. I remember it being the one back for uh, 6th Street. No, I could be wrong. They changed her voice actress, I think, in the last update. It was either the last update or this update. What? 
Mess up my nails. Can you resist? I need it. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Had to get the glory kill on her. Stay calm now. 
I'm scissors, you're paper. Get back. Understood. Hmm. Can you see me? Don't mess up my nails. Take this. Any last words? Shark Nami! Good go now, child. Good riddance. Out of the way. Get lost! Take this! Terrible that run. Oh, now what the fuck do I do?
You know, I'm curious. I wonder how many of those red discs I have. Alright, Alan does not like Electro. Duly noted. The morning air is like a soothing melody. <sighs> Truly unforgettable. Sweet Christ, I have 660. <laughs> Start this beautiful day with a win. Hey, look at that. I still beat Wonka. I think I did a dumb. I think I'm. I can only heal by attacking. Oh well. I have yet to get the grips of this game.
Because of all that clutter on the screen, man. I'm gonna call it here for now. I'm tired. And plus, I'm gonna be doing a late stream tomorrow, so I'll catch y'all then. Peace out.